Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are live here inside Porky's Barbecue, where uh looks like our friend back here has uh, cooked up some fresh food for us this morning. Uh, but you all have a few extra creatures who have joined us this morning. That's correct. We, uh, of course, we still have Carnage over here, and of then we we are resident wolf here. Uh, we found him prowling out in the street a few nights ago, so, uh, you know, here he is. <laughs> I thought we'd bring him in, and we've got our wonderful butcher here right behind me. He's hanging out uh, by the skeleton who looks like he kind of made him a little mad this morning. <laughs> yeah, that's that's old Ned right there. He's he's a mainstay here, and uh, he'll he'll basically cook up anything you want in here. Or not cook it up. It looks like everything is quite fresh here in the uh, the Porky's Barbecue. But in addition to our wonderful creatures that we've got on here on Good Day this morning, you have a very few very special guests who will be making an appearance at the Albany Fright Nights this year. That's right. One of the things we really wanted to work on this year was trying to entertain the crowd outside as much there as they do inside. So we're adding some live entertainment on October the 20th, Saturday, October tw uh, the 20th. Uh, we have Doghead, a uh, local uh, band will be playing out there. It's The concert's free. Same night, we have two of the actors from the Walking Dead television show, Sonia, yeah, Sonia Thompson and Larry Mainland. Uh, they're a couple of the zombie actors. They're very prominent actors. They're on all of the AMC promos for the uh, television show. They'll be appearing. Uh, then the next weekend, which is Saturday the 27th, we have the Georgia Ghostbusters. They are a professional Ghostbusters reenactor group, and uh, they'll be out here. Hopefully, they're going to bring the uh, Ecto Cruiser and have that on display. Now, hopefully, they won't take away some of your ghosts. I mean, I heard some screams here in the haunted house earlier. And, oh, there goes another one. <laughs> um, but they're, they're going to keep all the screams and scares here, right? They know not to come in here and mess with our guys. We take care of our own inside. Well, hopefully they'll uh, stop some of this jumpiness that I think people are trying to scare me on here. But uh, I keep resting my hand on poor... Poor little friend here. This looks like a head cake. That's correct. That was my birthday cake, actually, earlier this year. You know, uh, back whenever I turned the big four over, that's my birthday cake. There you go. Well, my birthday is coming up soon, but uh, I don't know if I want brains and human head on the menu, but... <laughs> No, maybe some pizza would be better, you know. I, I like that idea. We'll, we'll leave the Porky's Barbecue here in the Fright Night. But again, big opening night is coming up this Friday. What time should people start showing up to wait in line? We actually, op uh, ticket sales will start at 7 o'clock. Uh, usually the lines do start around 6.15, 6.30. Um, but ticket sales will start at 7 o'clock. Haunted House opens at 7 o'clock. Um, come have a great time. We're going to have a lot going on, and it's going to be well worth the, the Hall Halloween effort. Again, this effort has been starting taking place here in the Old Circuit City building since August. It looks amazing. All the proceeds, many of the proceeds, go to the Boy Scouts Council. So they're doing some good while they're scaring you this Halloween season. Live here at the Albany Fright Night Haunted House. Back to you guys in the studio.